Sullivan students and families, this is Miss Birgit with another emotion of the week. This week's emotion is the feeling of tenacious, which is a green zone in emotion. When we're feeling tenacious, we are feeling like we are able to work towards a goal that we have in mind. We have a vision. We're able to persist. We are able to take those sometimes small steps towards a larger goal because we have strong belief or conviction in what we're doing. Today's story is a true story. It's called The True Story of Jadav Payan, The Boy Who Grew a Forest. This is a pretty amazing story um, about someone who took small steps and persisted over time. He worked every day for actually 35 years and took this vision that he had of a world that he wanted to create and he made it happen. So enjoy this book and hopefully it'll inspire you to think about what your goals are, what your vision is for something that you want to accomplish and for you to find that feeling of tenacity inside yourself to pursue that goal. The Boy Who Grew a Forest. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time to plant a tree is now. Proverb. In India, on a large river island, among farms and families, hard at work, there lived a boy who loved trees. Trees meant shade, food, and shelter for many. But each rainy season, floodwaters swallowed more and more of the beautiful tree-covered land. The boy's precious island was shrinking, eroding away with the rushing river, leaving empty sandbars behind. The boy witnessed animals stranded on those sandbars, their homes destroyed. He feared that if animals withered without trees, people would too. The boy shared his fears with the village. The elders explained that the only way to help animals was to create new homes for them. They gifted the boy with 20 bamboo saplings. Alone, he canoed down the muddy river. He wished he could cover all the land with trees, but a large sandbar nearby was a place to start. The land was too barren for animals, the shores too sandy for leafy trees. Would bamboo grow? He hoped. Determined, he began to plant. One shaft, two, then three. Every day, he watered the saplings by hand, sweat trickling down his face and chest. He built a watering system to help and lugged heavy buckets from the river. His arms grew tired, his back sore. Still, each day, he tended to the plants. And over time, the bamboo patch grew. into a healthy thicket. The boy was proud of his work, but he worried it wouldn't be enough to stop the swelling river or to provide shelter for animals. If he wanted more plants to grow, he would have to create a richer soil. The boy carried cow dung, earthworms, termites, and angry red ants that bit him on the journey to their new home. He brought seeds from neighboring villages over trails, through brush, down the river. Each day he planted.
As years passed and the boy grew, so did a forest. 10 acres, 20 acres, then 40. Wildlife returned for the first time in many years. Buffalo, one-horned rhinos, and snakes, gibbons, migratory birds, and elephants. The man's forest teemed with life and diversity. Not everyone was happy. Fear swept over the villages when tigers arrived. So the man planted more grasses to attract small animals that would keep the tigers happy in the forest. Elephants wandered into neighboring farms to feast on the crops. So the man planted more fruiting trees to help feed the hungry elephants. Some wanted to harvest the forest to build homes, but the man was there to plant anew. Others tried to hunt the animals for their horns and fur, but the man was there to protect. Few thought the forest would last, but the man believed in its strength. Now in India, on a large river island, among wildlife and trees as tall as buildings, there lives a man who has planted a forest. The forest is called Molai after a man named Jadav Molai Payen, who never stopped planting and pruning and protecting. Only by growing plants, the earth will survive. Jadav Payen. And that's the end of our story. I got so excited to get started, I forgot to tell you who wrote and illustrated this book. This book is written by Sophia Goles, and it's illustrated by Kaylin, or Kayla Heron. And an interesting fact is that, um, as I said at the beginning, he's been planting. He planted every single day for 35 years straight. Now the forest is more than 1,300 acres. That's the equivalent of over 900 football fields. And there's some amazing video footage. Um, if you go to YouTube, you can Google his name and find quite a few terrific videos where you can see some of the video footage. So I hope you enjoyed this story, and I hope it um, really brought to life uh, the feeling of feeling it tenacious and um, of really putting in the grit and finding that sense of fire within ourselves to work towards a belief or a vision that we have. Take care and see you next time.